What's up guys this is Shivain and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that you have 100% disk usage in your Windows 10 or any Windows for that matter whether it is Windows 7, Windows 8 or 8.1 or even XP. So before we begin with the video I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems then just comment down below or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first solution is to try out some generic solutions like restarting your system and updating your windows to the current latest version which you can do by going to your windows search and then searching for windows update and then clicking on windows update settings and then checking for any windows update that you might have and then install it and lastly opening up your device manager by again going to windows search and then typing in device manager and then making sure that there are no devices with exclamation marks that is the drivers have been installed for all your connected devices after you have ensured that none of these methods have fixed your problem with your 100% disk usage then we move on to more prominent steps so the first one is disabling your windows search and that is because in windows 10 there is a bug in a search loop that causes this increased load on the system so to fix that just Go to your windows search and then search for run and once you open up the run dialog box just type in services.msc and then hit enter. In the services window that opens find windows search entry and then double click on it and it should open up a new windows search properties tab. Just go to startup type and then select disabled then click on apply and ok and restart your computer to check whether that fixes your problem. Now if this works then you can re-enable your windows search as the loop would have ended when you disabled it. Also make sure that no unnecessary apps are running in the background. So just go to your task manager by right clicking on your taskbar and then go to task manager and in processes click on disk to list them in the order of disk usage and just disable all the unnecessary tasks that might be running in the background. Now. While you're deleting unnecessary background applications, you may or may not come across an application known as SysMain, which causes this issue. It has also been named Superfetch in newer Windows versions. So now we're going to disable that. To do this, you go to your Windows search and then search for command prompt and then right click on it and run it as an administrator. After that, you paste the following command that is net.exe stop superfetch or net.exe stop sysmain whichever one works for you and then check whether that fixes a problem if it fixes the problem then you can permanently disable superfetch or sysmain file by going to your windows search and then searching for run and then in run type in regigit after you open up the registry editor then you go to your hk local machine then system then current control set then control then session manager then memory management and then prefetch parameter in there you'll find a file known as enable prefetcher just right click on it and then click on modify and then set it to decimal and set the value as zero then just save it and restart your pc to check whether that fixes your problem the next step is to run a disk check so again run your command prompt as an administrator and then just paste in the following command. I'll link this command and all the other commands that we'll use in the description below. You can also use the DISM commands which are shown here and the SFC SAN now command. Moreover, if you want to run an even more thorough disk check, then you can install a third party software for it. Now, the next step is to check your defragmentation schedule. So, just go to your Windows search and then search for task scheduler. Then once you open up task scheduler just go to its library then go to microsoft then windows then defrag and once you open up defrag you should find the item known as schedule defrag in your right hand there should be an action tab in there in selected items just click on end and then click on disable then restart your pc to check whether that fixes your problem the next step is to change your energy options from balanced to high performance so just right click on your windows button that is your start button and then go to power options once you open up power options then click on additional power settings and then click on change plan settings after that just click on change advanced power settings and then select high performance option from the drop down box and make sure that all plan settings are set to their default values now the next step is to temporarily 
turn off your antivirus software even the windows defender this is because sometimes your antivirus software or windows defender might cause this problem so just go to your antivirus software and then disable it check whether it fixes the problem and you can also go to your windows search and then search for windows defender and then disable it to check whether that fixes your problem now we move on to the next step that is resetting your virtual memory in windows 10 so to do that just go to your windows search and then search for control panel then once you open up control panel in control panel search for system settings then in system you'll find view advanced system settings just click on that and then under performance you'll find settings just click on that button and then just click on the advanced tab next to visual effects and then in virtual memory just click on change and once you open up the change virtual memory dialog box make sure that the box title automatically manage paging file size for all drives is checked and if it is already checked and you are still facing this issue then you can try unchecking it and then selecting no paging file option to check whether that fixes your problem. However, remember that you need to restart your computer for it to take effects. Now we have reached halfway. Let's move on to the next solutions. That is changing your Google Chrome and Skype settings as they might cause this issue as well. So for Chrome, make this change that go to its settings by clicking on the three dots on the upper right hand corner. And then once you open up settings, go to show advanced settings and then under privacy setting, Uncheck the use a prediction service to load pages more quickly option. If you want to disable the flash settings, then just open up your Google Chrome settings by clicking on the three dots and then go to privacy and security and click the section marked as site settings. Then find flash and set the toggle to block sites from running flash and then check whether that fixes the problem. Let's move on to the next solutions that is just find your skype.exe file which is usually in your c drive program files 86 then under skype and phone and once you find your skype.exe file right click on it and then go to its properties then in properties go to the security tab and click on edit then select all application packages and then make sure that you put a check under allow column right next to the right option and then click on apply and then ok the next step is to install the latest SARA drivers on your PC. So just open up your device manager by going to Windows search and searching for device manager. And from here expand storage controllers and then identify the correct controller for your SARA devices. If you can't do this, then that's no problem. Just simply update all of them and to update them, just right click on each controller and then select update driver. Then select browse my computer for driver software option and then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. After that choose the standard AHCI controller which you see on the screen and then check how that impacts your performance. The next step is to resolve the PCI Express firmware bug as some drivers don't run quite well as they should in Windows 10. So this problem might occur in your system as well. And to fix that, you have to open up your device manager. So go to Windows search and then search for device manager. Then expand the IDE ATA slash ATAPI controllers. And if an AHCI controller entry is listed here, then double click on it and then open the driver tab and then select driver details. If the driver is listed as C slash windows slash system 32 slash drivers slash store ashci dot cys then you might be affected by this bug. I link this name down in the description below for you to check out. So to fix this. In the same properties window, navigate to the details tab and then select device instant path from the property drop down menu. Then just copy the value here and paste it in something like your notepad for the next step that is going to regigate by again opening up run and then typing in regigate and in the registry editor go to local machine that is HK local machine then system then current control set then scroll down until you find enum and then PCI 
then use that pasted value which we found from device instant path to open up the current AHCI controller which is followed by a random number then expand to device parameters then interrupt management and then select message signaled interrupt properties after that you will find a D word known as MSI supported just double click on it to modify it and then set the value from 1 to 0 then save it restart your PC to check whether that fixes your problem since I don't have these AHCI settings on my PC I cannot show you guys the procedure but I can link a video down in the description below for you to check out and also if you guys want me to make a video on this specially because it is a very complex procedure I can do that just comment down below and we can make a video on that as well now we move on to the last few steps that is first checking out whether steam is maxing out your HDD or SSD so for that just open up your windows search box and then search run and in the run dialog box type in the following command I'll link all of the commands down in the description below for you to check out this is the steam command and next you can try also disabling your diagnostic tracking in windows 10 so to do this just click on start and then type in command prompt then open it up as an administrator by right clicking it and then input the following commands to stop the diagnostic tracking that is sc config dike track start equal to disabled and sc stop dike track in addition to this you might also head to windows settings and then go to system and then notification and actions and disable get tips tricks and suggestions as you use windows so this was the last thing that you could have done one last thing that you can try is to disable any automatic defragmentation process that are running as they might also cause you problems but we will not cover that in this video cause it's quite complex so if you want us to make a video on that as well just comment down below and we will make a video on that as well so in general your hard drive should never run at a hundred percent usage and this might also happen because of a windows update so if you recently upgraded your system to a new windows then maybe you can wait till windows fixes this problem as latest version of windows have a lot of bugs in the beginning and finally the last thing i can say is that you can try and wipe out your hard drive and reinstall windows 10 to check whether that fixes your problem so that is it for this video guys i hope you liked it and this video helped you guys if it did then consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content i'll see you in the next video until then bye